When I first got into horseshoeing, um, I asked every new client I got, why did you fire the last farrier and why are you hiring me? And the reason, uh, the top three reasons that farriers were fired were number one, he doesn't show up. Number two, he shows up late. And number three, he hit my horse. So what I did in order to um, get a nice start on growing my business is I found all the um, local magazines and um, horse mags, things like that, and I would take out a full page ad. And what I did is I had my client bill of rights. Starting out as a horseshoer, I didn't have a lot to sell. I don't have a lot of experience. I didn't have a lot of knowledge, but I did have a lot of customer service, and that set me apart from a lot of other people. So my client bill of rights said, as a right of Chris Adix, as a client of Chris Adix, you have the right to um, on-time appointments, humane treatment of your horse, and you have the right to ask questions. Um, and just putting that out there really got a great response. Uh, a couple other things you can do to set yourself apart is to shoe hot. Don't shoe cold. Shoeing hot is a great way to do business, and um, not a lot of people do it, so that makes you different. Um, another thing you can do is just um, go to the tax swaps, meet and greet people. One year what I actually did was set up a table at a tax swap. I spent $100, got a table, uh, set up my literature, and um, got a lot of response from that too. So you want to be visible, be more visible than the next guy, be a little bit cleaner than the next guy, and show the clients most importantly that you care about their horse because they don't really care how much you know until they know how much you care.